Hey guys, it's Mike here. So I'm printing some labels off of this taco company right now. And um, the specific color that they have, I was having trouble matching. This is not something that I have a problem with anymore, but I know how to fix it real quickly and easily. But it's, this is gonna be a video just to let y'all know what to do if you run into this issue. I'm using the Epson Colorworks C65AU printer. It's specifically made for labels. Um, it prints it on the rewinder here. But anyways, so basically, I first started having this problem when I was trying to print out blues and greens, and they were coming out just the wrong hue of color. And so I was always trying to make the image just right, but really there's three preset settings within the computer. I'm gonna kind of give you the briefing here of, of what I'm talking about, and then I'll get onto the screen uh, capture on the computer and show you exactly how to change it. But basically, this is the color I'm going for. It's kind of a, a more highly saturated red color, um, whereas these other ones are not. Let me get behind the camera and kind of see here. Basically, as you can see, there's the color correction mode is what I'm going to be showing you. The one on the left is with none. The one in the middle is, is on ICM. The one on the far right is Epson Vivid Color. Okay. So there's three different presettings. I'm going to show you how to get into the setting into the settings on that and change it in the computer. Okay. So this is the image I want to use as it's represented here. I'm going to go into the print settings. And this is the printer that I'm using, the Epson Colorworks C6500AU. I'm going to click on the little settings wheel. I have this one preset for this client because that's just a good way to keep track of it. I know exactly the print quality I'm using and everything. This one specifically because there's fine detail on it, I'm using max quality which takes a lot longer to print it out. Um, and I can't change it right now because it's a preset. So what you can do is you can go in here, you can go into custom and then it allows you to change everything. I'm going to go in here to the color correction mode going to uh, drop it down. Right now I have it in Epson Vivid Color. You can toggle between ICM. Sorry, I think I wrote it on the sheet wrong. No, no, I had it right here. I couldn't remember how I had it written down in the other video I did. Okay, so it's either Epson Vivid Color, ICM, or none. And if you toggle between those three, and then print out samples, you're gonna see a drastic difference between those three different settings. So whenever you're not getting the exact accurate color, just switch between those three before trying to actually change the image itself. So, and um, just make sure you always save your settings and then go back to however you had it before if you need to. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, see you guys later. Let me know if there's any videos y'all want me to make about any specific subjects. All right, take it easy.